Hey everyone, I am back today with a tag video and I'm doing the historical fiction book tag which was created by Penguin Teen and Penguin Teen is sponsoring this video so thank you so much Penguin Teen. When they reached out to me with this tag idea I loved it because I really really enjoy historical fiction books and I feel like I haven't talked about them enough on my channel so I thought this tag was the perfect opportunity and Penguin Teen also was super kind to send me a new historical fiction YA book called Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Killeen. This book is already out. It came out on March 20th and it's set in World War II. We follow our main character Sarah who is a 15 year old Jewish girl. Her mom is killed at a checkpoint and Sarah escapes and she kind of falls into this world of being a spy. She meets a man who helps her out and helps her kind of hone her skills and trains her to become a spy. His task for her is to infiltrate this Nazi boarding school. So I'm halfway done with the book right now and that's what's going on. She's at this boarding school and I'll be honest, this book is really like heart pounding and scary and of course dark because of the setting and it's not a happy story but Sarah is is a very fascinating character. I've fallen in love with her. I've connected to her. I'm rooting for her and I'm enjoying the book so far. Definitely not a lighthearted read by any means but really interesting and if you like books set around World War II I think this is going to be a great one. Once I do finish it I will have a full review. So let's go ahead and get started with the tag. The first question is why do you like to read historical fiction? Historical fiction to me is just so atmospheric and I love the settings in historical fiction novels regardless of which era they're from. I love reading like the details of that time period, what life was like in that time period, how different things are from now, and I just think it's a really awesome genre to really like time travel back in time even if the stories are fiction. Most of the time they're still based around real historical events. I just love seeing how they weave together fiction but with real historical aspects. Number two is what was the first historical fiction book you read. So technically the first historical fiction book I read was A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines. I read this for school so I didn't pick this up on my own. I read it in 10th grade. This book was written in 1993 but it's set in the 1940s and it follows a black man named Jefferson who at the time was wrongly accused of a crime and it's sort of his story in that process and it's a really disturbing sad story but it's important because those kinds of things definitely happened. It's set in Louisiana which is where I'm from so I think that's why we read it as well in school. It had a lot of truth in it and I think it was a fictional story but I think it was actually based on a real person. Um, but the first like historical fiction book I picked up on my own to read for fun was The Twins Daughter by Lauren Baratz Logstead. I've never heard anyone talk about this book. I read it the same year that I read A Lesson Before Dying in 10th grade which is kind of when I really started getting getting into reading. I remember really really enjoying it. I believe it was set in the 1800s. I don't remember a specific date or anything but it was kind of like mysterious and dark and gothic. Number three is where do you draw the line between historical fiction and contemporary? I feel like if something takes place in the 2000s that's pretty contemporary. Even though 2000 was 18 years ago it's so crazy to think about. Um, I guess to me that's still contemporary, but if something is set in like the 90s or before, I feel like that's historical fiction. I don't know. It's definitely a very fuzzy line. Number four has a few different time periods, and the question is, have you read a book set in each of these eras? And so I could find a book for most of them. I have a list here, so I'm just going to use this to help me. The first one is the 1600s, and I read The Crucible by Arthur Miller in 10th grade again. It was assigned reading for school, and that was set in 17th century Salem, Massachusetts, and it was all about, like, the witch hunt and that kind of thing. I think that's the book I've read in, like, the earliest time period. I had a hard time finding one for 1700s. I don't think I've read a book set in the 1700s. I did read The Venom trilogy by Fiona Paul. That is set in Renaissance Italy and I couldn't remember an exact date and I couldn't find an exact date um, but I know the Renaissance was a little bit earlier than the 1700s but maybe part of this series took place then. I'm not sure. For the 1800s there's a ton of uh, historical fiction books out there. I feel like most historical fiction set in the 1800s but 
a lot of what I have read is actually more like fantasy, magic, historical fiction. So for one that was just like straight up normal historical fiction, I read Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I read it a long time ago, but I really loved it and it's one of my favorites. For the 1920s to 1930s, I have two books, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen and The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I couldn't pick one. So I said both. <laughs> For 1940s to 1950s, I chose Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetys. Amazing book. Again, centered around World War II, but sort of a different kind of perspective, and I love that one. The last category is 1960s to 1970s or later, and I could not find a book that I've read set in that time period that wasn't also written in that time period, so it was technically contemporary for that time. I did read Attachments by Rimbo Rao, which is set in 1999, and that was a really fun part of the book is that it was set from 1999 and then the changeover to 2000 which was really funny because it kind of made me nostalgic because I do remember when that happened. I guess that's kind of historical fiction. It's right on the line. Number five, what is the last historical fiction book you read? The last one I read was The Dark Days Pact by Alison Goodman but again that one is more of a fantasy or a fantastical historical fiction. Um, there's like magic and demons and all that kind of stuff and it's really really fun and it's set in the 1800s but not technically historical fiction solely. Salt to the Sea was actually the last like just straight up regular historical fiction book that I read. Number six, what's your favorite historical fiction cover? I went and looked at my historical fiction shelf and I actually haven't read this book but I've always loved the cover and that is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna and this one again is set in World War II. I have so many of those. Um, it's set in France in 1939 and the end papers are so so beautiful i just think this book looks beautiful i love the eiffel tower in paris in france so um this cover just kind of speaks to me i love the gold on it and is one that i really really need to read <laughs> and number seven is what is your favorite historical fiction and it's a toss-up between The Book Thief and Salt to the Sea. I read The Book Thief so, so long ago. And Salt to the Sea is a little fresher in my memory, even though it's been two years since I've read it. <laughs> I love both of those so, so much. I think I have to say I like The Book Thief more. I would say The Book Thief is my favorite. And I did really enjoy the movie as well. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. But I definitely need to read more historical fiction. Most historical fiction I read has like a fantastical element to it. But I would like to read more regular historical fiction and I'm really enjoying Orphan Monster Spy right now and it's like reigniting my love. Now I just want to read all of the historical fiction. But yeah, that's it for this tag. Let me know your favorite historical fiction books below, your answers to these questions. I'm not going to tag anyone in particular, but if you make videos or you have a blog or a bookstagram, I tag you, do this tag and share it with me. I'd love to know your answers and some more book recommendations. Thank you again to Penguin Teen for sponsoring this video and sending me this copy of Orphan Monster Spy. I can't wait to finish it and review it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon.